welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this pink glitter cut crease look. I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day. I personally think of three things when I think of Valentine's Day, pink, red, and glitter. So that's why I came up with this look today. It was actually my second attempt at this look today. I did try it one other time yesterday and epically failed. Yesterday I tried doing winged liner with it and it just kept getting thicker and thicker to the point where it just ruined the whole look basically. Super frustrating when that happens, but thank goodness I had today off as well. So I got to sit down and retry it. And I'm really happy with how this one came out. And I'm super excited to tell you guys that this is a collab with my really good friend Liz here on YouTube. I'll have her YouTube name typed out here and also linked down in the description box as well as the video that she's gonna make. Her look is gonna be completely opposite of mine. It's gonna be a black smoky eye. So I feel like no matter what you're doing on Valentine's Day, you'll have a really nice look to go to. I know you guys are gonna love Liz. She's absolutely stunning. She's so talented at makeup and her videos are such good quality. I've been watching her for a long time and she's growing so fast on YouTube. I'm so proud of her. She's amazing. And like I said, I know you guys are gonna absolutely love her. So go check Liz's video out after you watch this one. Don't forget to subscribe to her channel and let her know down in the comments that I sent you. And without further ado, if you wanna see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. I'm starting out with primed lids and brows on. I will have my full brow routine linked down below for anybody who wants to see that, as well as all of the products I use in today's video. I'm using the Modern Renaissance palette for this entire eyeshadow look today, and the first shadow I'm taking is Raw Sienna as my transition shade. Now I'm taking the lightest pink in the palette and putting this right under the orange transition shade. The key to blending is really just starting out with your lightest shades and going darker as you get closer to your crease. And this is really just gonna create a flawless, blown out look in the end. Taking the next darkest pink now, which is Love Letter, I'm really gonna just take a very small amount at first and start building this up in my crease. You don't wanna start out with a bunch of pigmentation because it'll just defeat the purpose of building up that nice transition shade. And it's just way easier to build up color than to try to take it away and blend it out, in my opinion. Next, I decided to highlight my brow bone with the shade Tempera, just so that I made sure not to go up too high with the pink shades. Then I'm going in with my last shade for now, which is Venetian Red, and again, just very lightly darkening up the crease. You guys will see later that I'm actually going to darken all of this up, but it's a lot easier for me to see how dark I really want it after I have the rest of my makeup on. So for now, I'm just going to blend the whole thing out with the shade Raw Sienna again and move on to cutting my crease with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. The glitter I'm using today is by Galactic Beauty and it's in the shade Champagne. It's such a gorgeous rose gold champagne-y color. And for my adhesive, I tried using Lash Glue today, but I didn't love working with it. It kind of balled up in areas. I feel like I was able to pack a little bit more glitter on than a glitter glue, but like I said, it just wasn't easy to work with. Like you see here, I had to work in sections because it dries so quickly and yeah, I think I just prefer using like a glitter glue. Now I'm gonna go in and further cut the crease, first using the shade Red Ochre and this little tiny brush that actually came with my Maybelline gel liner. Here I'm taking the darkest shade in the palette, which is Cypress Umber, and I'm really going to define and darken up that cut crease. 
So now I'm just going to take the time to really blend out that cut crease. We already have a really nice start from what we did before and that's really going to help us out now. But I'm just starting with the darkest pink and getting lighter as I work my way up to my brow bone. I'm gonna apply my mascara and falsies off camera, but it was my first time trying the Nicole Guerrero 143 lash today, and oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. Then I'm just quickly going to wipe the glitter off my face and creepily put gel liner in my tight line before moving on to the face. Recently I've been using the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion and it's just a little bit thinner than the normal one I use. And then I'm going to prime my face today with the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I'm using my favorite foundation today because I wanted a really flawless look and for that I like to use my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. To conceal my under eyes and highlight the center of my face, I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, and then I'm going to set the entire face with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And you guys already know I'm using my NYC Sunny Bronzer to bronze up my face today. I decided to wear blush today. I recently haven't been because I don't have a blush brush that I really love. I lost mine, but I decided to use my Milani Rose Dioro blush for today's look. Then I'm just going to highlight my face with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Pearl. Now I'm just going to finish up with the eyes. First you're going to see me do the lower lash line with all of the shades I used up above. And then like I was telling you guys, I'm going to darken up the crease again with all the shades I've been using, but I feel like once you have the rest of your makeup on, you can kind of see how it all looks together and I almost always darken up my looks after I do the rest of my face. Then I decided to pop a little highlight in my inner corner, so for that I used Vermeer, which is absolutely stunning, and then we're moving on to lipstick. I used one of my favorite nudes today, which is Wet n Wild's Fergie Daily. I know it's such an oldie, but it's such a goodie! 
And that is going to be it for this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed my Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. Don't forget to head over to Liz's channel and show her some love. Again, her links will be down in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye! This subscription service is just such an awesome way to try out perfumes before buying the full size.